A friend recently asked about making window trim for a cottage. I've made uh, PVC window trim for a seasonal dwelling and I just use simple PVC trim boards, 1x4 PVC trim, along with standard fasteners, some caulking to make the windowsill. And the windowsill is the unique part of it. If you look, there's about a 10 degree bevel on that board, which allows for the sill to have that classic look. It's like a one and a half by one and a half with a 10 degree cut on it. It's really simple. It's not a material they necessarily sell nowadays, but you can make it very easily by joining some one by, or excuse me, so yeah, some one by twos, gluing those up, screwing them together, cutting that 10 degree bevel on them, and then joining them to the PVC boards. If you look in this case, we have a simple window. The section we need to frame is about 30 inches by, is that about 30? Well, <laughs> 30, I think it's about 30 by 46. So you can see here, we're just simply giving you a demonstration of marking and cutting, drilling the pocket holes with a Craig jig. That makes things so ridiculously easy. Uh, Craig jig is absolutely worth an investment if you do any kind of projects. See here, this is us making that sill. So we're taking about one by two, in our case, a little bit bigger on this one. Just gluing up the two sides using simple window and door caulk. And then we're gonna just tack it in place with some one and a quarter inch galvanized brads. And then we'll actually go to the trouble as well to screw this together just to make sure the pieces don't separate. This is a step that's probably unnecessary and you probably don't need as many nails as I put in this. Just some simple caulking and some screws is probably sufficient, but with the expansion of PVC, I thought, why not? It's not, not that much effort to put some brads in there and screw it together to get it to stay in place. Obviously the screws and brads will go underneath so they're not on top of the sill. So none of this is facing any weather. There's no water sitting anywhere. Makes it a very, very simple and clean project. Once you caulk it and screw these together, the caulk's gonna squeeze out a little. You wanna let that set and dry for a bit. So here I'm using the Craig pocket hole jig there's the Craig clamp. It's really a fantastic uh, system that allows you to speed up production of anything. You can see here the just the packaging has the gauge to set the depth of your material. It's really really clever. So you clamp the guide on there and just drill the pocket holes. As you can see I'm just setting it anywhere along the width of the board. It doesn't matter too much. I give myself room in case I screw up that if I need to place a third hole, I, I have the room to do that, so I offset those a bit. And here you see you use the clamp to actually secure your workpiece while you screw it together. You probably, a lot of people would say go ahead and put some caulking in that joint, but this is a side of our place that doesn't receive really much of any weather, so not not going to sweat that detail too much. You see just a very simple couple of screws. We're gonna make a frame. And I like to make these frames before I attach them to a dwelling. If you've ever replaced a window, you'll notice the flange can really throw your trim out of whack if you just try and nail it in place. So what I like to do is put the frame together as one piece, set it over the top repla uh, replacement window with a flange. As you see here, I'm just dropping this U shape over the top. Just checking for fit before I go ahead and attach the sill or complete making the sill. So there's my glued up piece, again about a one by two, two and a half in this case. I'm gonna set the saw to 10 degrees to match the bevel on the end of the board, the end of the one by four. And then I'll go ahead and make the cut on the bevel. I do the face side first, just so I have it oriented right. And then the back side, doesn't end up with a full bevel, has a little flat spot. I do sand it after the fact, and this PVC really sands up well. It surprised me. Gave a really, really smooth finish with about, uh, I think, 180 grit sandpaper. And then I just have to have a spacer block to uh, 
hold the sill while while I screw it off on the back side. Really a super simple project. If you wanted to add a little overkill to it, you could go ahead and put some caulking in between the joints, but you can see it's a very simple, good result. There you see it on the windows and uh, see a nice little bird in the background. So it's a simple look, very classic look and easy to do and your joints are perfect as uh, opposed to what might happen when you nail it in place. Hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to place a comment below and I'll be responsive to whatever, whatever question you might have. Thanks for watching.